Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm in Berlin. Not only is Berlin the largest city in Germany, it's also the capital and it's known for its incredible art scene, wild nightclubs, and of course, its layered and complex history. And on this trip, I'm keen to see the big sights and delve into the city's history, while also discovering a few local spots for great food. But first, to get here, I caught the train from Amsterdam Central Station using my URL pass, which I booked through Kluk. I didn't need Need a seat reservation for this journey, but I booked one anyway, just to be sure, and I'm glad I did. It took around six hours to get from Amsterdam to Berlin Central Station, and the journey was really easy. The train is so comfortable and simple to use. I love exploring Europe this way. It's just so much better than flying. It's easier, faster, and the journey is way more relaxed and enjoyable for me. Once I arrived in Berlin, I caught the tram to my accommodation. Now the tram is right outside the station and it's so easy to navigate using Google Maps. You can purchase your tram ticket from the machine at the station using your card or Apple Pay. Just be sure to get a ticket. It is an honor system, but you will be fined if caught traveling without one, so it's not worth risking it. I checked into my hostel and got a really good night's sleep, so today I am up and ready to explore. I'm starting the day off with breakfast at my hostel, the circus. Now I'll show you my room a little bit later. This place is an awesome location. It's super, super easy to get around. And the buffet breakfast is perfect. It's nice and simple. They have cereals, breads, pastries, fruits, coffees, yogurts, all that kind of stuff. They also have an espresso machine if you need a really good cup of coffee. I'm extremely tired this morning. I need like a hundred coffees. Um, so I'm gonna have my breakfast. I'll show you around the hostel a little bit later and they have some really fun activities I'm keen to check out. Um, but right now, first up, we're gonna go out and do some sightseeing here in Berlin. Berlin's public transport system is so easy to navigate, I definitely recommend using it to explore. Because I'm going to be using it all day, I've purchased a 24 hour or day ticket which allows me to take as many trips as I want for 960 euro. Just be sure to validate the ticket before you use it for the first time and keep it on you to show inspectors if needed. free walking tour meets outside Starbucks at 9am, one of four English guided tours for the day. It's led by an Israeli born locally based guide with an incredible historical knowledge. We begin at the Brandenburg Gate, built between 1788 and 1791. It's one of Germany's most well known landmarks, having played many different roles in history. Intended to represent peace, it was initially named the Peace Gate but was used by Napoleon for a triumphal procession in the early 1800s and as a party symbol by the Nazis when they seized power. It is riddled with bullet holes and damage from nearby explosions. It's been patched over, but they're still visible if you look closely. We pause at the Reichstag building, an important political site where a fire in 1933 gave Nazi leadership the opportunity to claim communists were planning a violent uprising and emergency legislation was needed to prevent it, abolishing constitutional protections and paving the way for Nazi dictatorship. As the tour unfolds, the journey into Germany's history is really difficult to grasp at times. It is a struggle to wrap your mind around the truly horrific and inconceivable events of the Holocaust and how anyone could inflict so much horror. But onwards we walk, standing atop Hitler's bunker, the center of the Nazi regime until the very last week of World War II, and the site where he married Eva Blum on 29th of April, 1945, just 40 hours before they ended their lives. We continue onwards to the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. 2000, 711 concrete slabs arranged in a grid, 
each the same height and weight, placed at different depths in the earth. They create an imposing presence as you walk between them. The memorial is on a slight slope and its wave-like form and uneven concrete base give you a sense of uncertainty. And the further you wander, the more intense that is and the more lost you become, the slabs towering high above your head as you lose all sense of place and direction. Its design is meant to be void of symbolism, allowing each visitor to develop their own interpretation. For some, the pillars represent gravestones. For others, the memorial mimics the experience of the victims. For me, it's the size of the slabs and their placement that strikes me the most. Knowing that those seen just a few inches above the ground are the same size below the earth as those towering above my head. For me, it's a clear reminder that the impact of the Holocaust isn't just what we're seeing, what we read, what we learn. It's much, much deeper and it's overwhelmingly heartbreaking. The underground place of information located at the memorial holds the names of approximately 3 million Jewish Holocaust victims. And that's only around half of those that were murdered. The above ground area is open day and night to visitors, and I believe it is a must do, no matter how difficult. Our journey into Germany's history takes us through the events of the Cold War and the construction of the Berlin Wall remnants of which can be seen throughout the city. Finally, we head to our final stop at Checkpoint Charlie, and after so much history, it's time for a much needed break. Doing a guided walking tour with an expert is a really great way to dig into Germany's history and I think a really good starting point for a day in Berlin like I'm spending today, I want to get that history and that context and move through that part of it and then start to explore the city a little deeper. Now I was going to book and pay for a guided tour but my friend who lives here, he said don't just sign up for the free one. So I don't know if the paid one would have been better, the free one was great, I'll have both linked below for you, just make sure you bring some cash because you do tip at the end but I don't know what is going on with me but I am so so tired today I'm exhausted so today I'm gonna drink a lot of coffee and I'm starting with a really great coffee spot I was just walking past it's called I'm gonna say this wrong that doesn't sound right anyway it looked amazing and then I walked inside the shop and it is so beautiful it's almost like a museum sort of that has all these old coffee machines and you could just tell they take it seriously anyway it looks so beautiful I had to get myself an oat milk flat white and hopefully this is gonna revive my soul oh, okay that is officially the best coffee I've had on my entire trip so far they have some great seating outside and you can just sit here in the nice warm sunshine and watch the world go by a little bit it is just exactly what I needed all right it is time for lunch and when I was researching where to eat in Berlin and talking to friends everybody said to come here to Market Hall noon now it is Thursday so it is street food Thursdays and here they have loads of market stalls set up so if you came here with a couple of friends you came here really hungry you could try lots of food now looking around at where the queues are the longest I would say the Baumann place and the pasta place and a couple of like the boulangerie bakery style places dropping some French in there I would say they're probably the best ones I didn't feel like queuing and if I'm honest I think I've been I know I've been eating the wrong foods. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know I have a whole bunch of stomach problems. And I have just been pushing those problems to the side because I've wanted to eat all the food while I'm traveling through Europe. But it has caught up with me. I have not been feeling very well. That's nobody's fault but my own. But moving forward, I need to start making some better food choices. And this is one of those better food choices. So this is from the Peruvian place. Um, it's just a nice bowl of rice with some gorgeous veggies. They also do ceviche, which looks really good too, but I thought I'd keep it pretty simple with some delicious rice and veggies. Oh, I'm so hungry too. Mm. That is exactly what I felt like. 
Mm. Yum. Now, it's a little hard to find a seat here. I'm stood up at one of the tables, but I think after I finish filming, I might go and see if I can sit somewhere, maybe even somewhere outside, where I can watch the street a little bit, and then they also have some sweets. So if my stomach's filling up to it, we might try some sweets as well. All right, lucky for me, the ice cream shop has dairy-free options, so we're gonna tempt fate. <laughs> it was hard to choose, I actually had a lot of dairy-free options. Um, I've gone for their dairy-free chocolate sorbet and currant, and both dairy-free. I'll say it one more time, just so we're clear. Um, this is my favorite combo, like a, like a raspberry or like a berry sorbet with a chocolate sorbet. I just think it's like the dream. So I hope this is good. Oh my god. The chocolate's got little chocolate chunks in it, so you get that little crunch. The currant is really, really fresh and tangy. The chocolate is all smooth and creamy and rich and delicious. Oh my god. I'll say this about Berlin. I feel very, very comfortable. You know, I feel very safe and at ease and I don't know. Everything here just works. Everything just makes sense. It's easy to navigate the public transport. It's easy to walk around the streets. I, I feel really relaxed here. Like in the bigger cities like Paris and Amsterdam and London, I'm always a little bit on edge and obviously have my guard up a little bit here because I'm traveling by myself. But I mean, to be honest with you, I just feel really relaxed in Berlin. It's a real vibe. <laughs> if you want to get up a little closer to the Berlin Wall, a great place to do that is here at the East Side Gallery. Now it's pretty much an open air art gallery with artworks painted all along the longest surviving stretch of the Berlin Wall and it's around 1300 meters in length or so and it's really cool to see. The only thing is it's extremely busy, <laughs> especially in front of the most popular of paintings. If you want to get a photo there, good luck to you. I tried, it was 10 out of 10 difficult. I did get a shot, it's not very good. We'll see if it makes it on the Instagram or not. Now you know I love a hop on hop off bus tour, I don't know why, I think it's just easy to do, you get to see everything, you have the audio that tells you what you're seeing, it's a great way for me to film, sit and relax and my legs need a break because I have been up and walking all day. Now I booked my big bus hop on hop off ticket via Kluke and so that is on my app, I just show it to them, they print the ticket out, I'll have that link below for you, it just makes it nice and easy. But yeah, let's go, let's go take a load off gang, let's go sit down on this bus and do some really lazy, really easy sightseeing. staying at the Circus Hostel. Now in terms of location, it is excellent. It was so fast to get here when I arrived and having a train and tram station right out the front makes it so easy to explore. The hostel is ideal for solo travelers because it's so social. So they have a different hangout every day like rooftop yoga, speed friending, giant connect four, pop quiz, karaoke, walking tours, and so much more. There's a microbrewery and a David Hasselhoff museum and I have it on good authority. He's actually been here. They have bike rental, the buffet breakfast, the cafe serves great coffee and food. Basically, it is perfect for fun and new friends. Now, I stayed in a private room, which was super spacious and comfortable. There's high-speed Wi-Fi, all your linens included. The bathrooms are shared. The atmosphere is great. And there is so much to see, do, eat, and explore nearby. I have really enjoyed my stay here. There's a link below if you want to book yours too. Plus, I have a discount code for you to use. You can save a little money when you book. Woohoo!
<laughs> You're so old, you need to stay in a hotel. But this inner part of me was like, no, stay the hostel. Stay where you're going to meet people, where you're not going to be alone, where you're going to be surrounded by new friends and, I don't know, be more involved and have fun. And I was so right. <laughs> I was in my room and they had like a karaoke night going on downstairs in the tap room and I was like, I'll just go down for a little bit. And I got there and I wasn't talking to anybody and I started talking to these lovely girls and then their friends and everyone was doing karaoke and by the end of it you're like all singing and your best friends and it just... I don't know, I was looking around that bar and even though I could clearly tell I was a little bit older than some of the other kids there, I don't know. It was just like having that amazing time of my life all over again and I felt so happy to be there and everyone was so nice to me and I cannot stop smiling. Staying here was absolutely the right decision. It took me back to when I did my first ever Europe trip and I think it's nice sometimes to remember that you can always get those amazing parts of your life again they're not just they don't just happen and then go away forever you can do things to get those most joyful parts of your life those things you really enjoyed back and that's just such a good reminder for me and staying here really pushed me out of my comfort zone and that's exactly what I needed because I can get a bit repetitive sometimes and shut off so tonight was exactly what I needed even though I didn't know it so a lovely end to my time in Berlin and with that that brings this week's episode to a close I really hope you've enjoyed it now if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week love you